to day two of the hornworm parasite removal experiment. Uh, this is Akuma demon. Only two of the subjects are in the same spot I had placed them in um, the day before, so those are the only two I can find and record for now. Um, this this subject that I'm holding right here, he still appears to be bleeding, and he doesn't look like he's in a very good spot. He's been very slow and not really wanting to move much. He is still alive, um, but he definitely doesn't look like it. Uh, but this was also the worm that had living parasites on him, so I would not be surprised if they, um, already burrowed into him and it's too late for this guy. So he might not be a valid candidate for the procedure, but he is still alive, so he... He might live, we'll see. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, you can see him moving a little. So he is still alive. Uh, this was our smaller candidate. Um, the parasites were in the cocoons when they were removed. And they seem to be doing really well. Uh, as you can see, even the leaves and the tomatoes have been eaten a little bit. And this one is alive and kicking. Um. Checking on the bleeding one to make sure he's alright. He's still moving a little bit, so he might be okay, but I'm not so sure about him. He seems... Oh, and another patient appears to be over here, so we can check this one. How are you doing, sir or ma'am? Well, they appear to be doing great. They are really putting up a fight. It's doing awesome, it looks like. And you can tell these are the same hornworms because they 
show the signs of parasitism on their backs right here. Uh, so that's proof that these aren't just some like random hornworms I found. So two out of three of the subjects seem to be good, and I can't find, there were five subjects in total, and I can't find the other two, so I assume they've moved and are doing well, though that is yet to be determined. Um, but two out of three is a pretty good number. And the third one has does not appear to have died. They just appear to be weak. And are showing signs of bleeding. They may or may not make it. But that's pretty good in my opinion. And shows that the procedure does work. And again, the one that I'm worried about does did have living parasites on him as opposed to cocoons so this procedure may only work when the parasites are in the cocoon stage which is still useful to know um And here's the guy, the worried case. As you can see, he's not doing the greatest, but he is moving, which is good. Um, so, uh, I'll probably check up on these guys later. And let you know how they're doing, or maybe the next. Day. Either way, that's how the experiment is going. Uh, this has been um, Akuma Spiders and, and my studies on hornworm parasite removal, and I'll see you guys later, maybe.